Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the ghost smoke experiment. In the jar with the pink lid, I have ammonia. In the jar with the blue lid, I have hydrochloric acid. So what I'm going to be sticking in these is a syringe with two one-way valves on them. So it'll suck air through one side and blow it out the other side. So it sucks in this side and blows it out this side. So what I can do is I can blow air through these solutions. And what it's going to do with these two solutions is in the ammonia solution, it's going to bubble out ammonia gas. And in the hydrochloric acid, it's going to bubble out hydrogen chloride gas. So I have these two straws with ammonia gas and hydrogen chloride gas coming at each other. Now both of these gases are invisible, but when these gases meet each other in the air, it's going to form ammonium chloride. And ammonium chloride is a white crystal, so it's going to make tiny little particles of ammonium chloride when these gases meet. And that will appear as a white smoke. Now the concentrated hydrochloric acid is going to be putting a lot of droplets of hydrogen chloride in the air and I don't want to breathe that because it's basically just breathing concentrated acid. So I'm going to be wearing a protective mask, goggles, and doing it in the open air for protection. Whoa, it worked. Look at that smoke just come out of nowhere. Now you can kind of see a little bit of smoke come out of the hydrogen chloride bottle, even without the ammonia. But that's due to not actually seeing the hydrogen chloride. What you're actually seeing is tiny little water droplets mixed with the hydrogen chloride. The reaction of hydrogen chloride and ammonia is an exothermic reaction. So when it reacts, it heats up the air around it and so it causes that white smoke to rise. You can also just put the ammonia on a cloth near the hydrogen chloride and you'll get the same type of fuming. Or even just moving your hand near it with a little bit of ammonia on your hands, it looks like your hands start smoking. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also you can hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest videos. And check out theactionlab.com to see the two Action Lab experiment boxes if you haven't got yours yet. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.